hello you are welcome here we want to solve this system of equations and uh, we are finding the value of a and b given that a is not equals to b now let's call this equation one and this equation two and uh, from here let's subtract equation two from equation one so we have equation one minus equation two then when we subtract we have a square in equation one that's a square minus b square in equation two equals to equation one that's b minus a then we have 241 minus 241 becomes zero then from here let's bring everything to one side from here then when we take minus a here become plus so we have a square minus b square then plus a then plus b come here become minus b which is equals to zero from here then in the next term we have difference of two squares here we can write it as a plus b then multiply by a minus b then also plus here we can put this in bracket a minus b into bracket which is equals to zero then we have a minus b come on here let's take it out then what will be left here is a plus b then what is left here is plus one which is equals to zero from here then in the next step we have two things multiply and is equal to zero we have two possible cases a minus b is equals to zero or we have a plus b plus 1 equals to 0 so from here a minus a is equals to b and uh, we have established that a is not equals to b then here a plus b let's take my plus 1 here become minus 1 a plus b equals to minus 1 let's call this equation 3 then from in the next step we have the two equations now we have equation 1 plus equation 2 when we had that from equation 1 we have a square then from equation 2 plus b square then we equals to equation 1 we have b equation 2 we have a when we had it as a plus b then plus 241 plus 241 that gives us 482 that's the addition of equation 1 and equation 2 from there. Then in the next step, we substitute the value of a plus b, which is minus 1 here. So we have a square plus b square now equals to minus 1 plus 482. And then from here, a square plus b square will now be equals to 481 from here same thing as 482 minus 1 then call this equation 4 and from equation 3 from 3 we have a plus b equals to minus 1 then from here let's square both sides when we square this and then we square this side as well so the square here when we expand it will give us a square plus b square plus 2ab will then be equals to 1 minus 1 square that's 1 then we already have from equation 4 our a square plus b square then this is 481 from here then plus 2ab which is equals to 1 then let's take 481 there then we have 2ab from here is now equals to 1 minus 481 that will give us minus 480 there that's minus 480 we have 1 minus 481 that's minus 480 and from here when we divide both sides by 2 we have a b now equals to minus 480 divided by 2 it will give us minus 240 then both side by here to make b the subject so we have b now equals to 240 divided by 8 
Then from equation 3 again that we have a plus b equals to minus 1. We can substitute for b here. Then we now have a plus b now which is minus 240 over a equals to minus 1. Then we can clear the fraction by multiplying through with a. Then this will become a times a that's a square. Then minus 240 here, a we cancel a, then equals to a times minus 1, that's minus a. Take minus a to this place and we have a square plus a minus 240 equals to 0. Then from here we can solve this by factorizing and then the two factors here will be 16a then minus 15a. That will give us plus a, then when we multiply it will give us minus 240. So we have a square plus 16a minus 15a minus 240 equals to 0 from here. Then we factor a out, we have a plus 16 left here. Also, we factor minus 15 out, we have a plus 16 left here as well, which is equal to 0. Then here we have a plus 16 common. Then left with a minus 15, which is equal to 0. Two cases here, we have a plus 16 equals to 0, or we have a minus 15 equals to 0. From here, a is equal to minus 16, and then from here, a is equal to 15. Then to solve for b, we can use this equation we got that this b equals to minus 240 over a so from here for a to be minus 16 b will now be equals to minus 240 over minus 16 so b here will be equals to 15 from here then on this side we can write a comma b to be equals to a is minus 16 minus 16 then b is 15 then on this side as well we got a to be 15 we can also get b using this b equals to minus 240 over a so b now will be equals to minus 240 over 15 and from here b will be equals to minus 16 so a comma b from here is now equals to 15 comma minus 16 so these are the two solutions to this our given problem and uh, when we look at it the value of a here is the value of b here and the value of b here is the value of a here. so we can also test to see whether this is you know correct thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn the notification bell on in order not to miss out also like and comment in this video see you next class then bye for now